next up is Senator Kerry Dietzik. Uh, Senator Dietzik also has a long history of public service and of understanding the importance of public employees uh, and their pensions. Uh, she's been a, a strong supporter of ours at the Capitol and helped us on a number of uh, efforts. One of the things that we're working on today uh, and falls under the category of pension security and retirement security is with the surplus, the Senate Republicans are looking at a proposal to uh, not tax social security benefits for retirees. Uh, and of course, many, if not most of the people on this call are basic plan members and do not, uh, uh, were not eligible to participate in social security or didn't collect social security. So we are trying to figure out uh, and work with her that if that proposal is gonna move and if the legislature is serious about enacting it, uh, that you know we find some, some recognition uh, for the fact that folks who didn't pay into Social Security and uh, are getting a basic plan benefit, that maybe some portion of that uh, could be recognized as Social Security for purposes of not having uh, the tax uh, deduction or, the, or for purposes of being eligible for the tax deduction. Uh, you know, as we all on this call know, you know, over the last decade, uh, the COLAs have been you know, 1% for a while and, uh, you know, between one and 1.5% 1 uh, for the last couple of years. And uh, we've heard from many of you that, um, you know, that isn't keeping up and that your benefit is eroding. And, and so on top of that, with inflation rising, if Social Security benefits are not going to be taxed, you know, the hope would be is you wouldn't be disadvantaged in that way, in addition to the fact that your COLAs are not uh, keeping up with inflation. So with that, turn it over to the Senator. Uh, and but thank you for your time today. I think, um, thanks, Dave, for the introduction. As you said, my name is Kiri Dietzik. Uh, and I've had the honor and privilege to represent Senate District 60, which includes uh, Minneapolis areas of Northeast Minneapolis, Southeast Minneapolis, I have Cedar Riverside and Seward neighborhood, all of the Minneapolis campus for the U of M and the Augsburg campus. So a very diverse eclectic district. Um, when this issue first came up, um, it first came up when the, the Republican Senate a few years ago had a bill to get rid of taxing any social security. And I raised the question of, well, you know, that is can be a good discussion, but what about the people who have a pension and that is their social security. They don't get social security because they are in a plan that wasn't compatible with social security. What are we giving them? How are we making them whole? Because it's a fairness issue. And the first time I brought that up, people were extremely confused. They did not understand that many of you paid into uh, the pension and didn't get social security. And then if you get social security because you had another job, there's a subtraction there. So you're kind of, you don't get, you don't get both. There's an interaction there. And so, um, we had that discussion and it took like a few years for them to understand that, you know, no, there are a group of you that are in and they're, you know, I believe I have two brothers that are firefighters. My dad was a cop. Um, I believe at least one of my brothers is in a basic plan that does not, so he doesn't get social security. So this isn't just, um, and he's younger than me. So this isn't, you know, it's, it's a large group of you. And so it's a large group of public employees. And so we've had been having that conversation. I believe they now understand um, with the, I'm not calling it a budget surplus. Um, I'm calling it a positive budget balance because um, between my tenures in the legislature and then my work at Hennepin County beforehand, um, I'm aware that the forecast between November and February can change, but we do have $3 billion in the bank. And so we are going to be doing some stuff. So what should we do? And if they, I believe that they will be bringing forward the proposal to get rid of taxes on social security. Um, the bill I have right now um, was paired off, off of what we currently have, which is up to about 25 to $35,000 that range doesn't pay taxes on um, social security taxes. And then after that, it's scalable. Um, and so the bill I have right now um, does the same for your pension. So if your pension is 25 to 35,000 um, below that, you don't pay taxes. And then it's a percentage again, um, shipped up above. So now we are looking at what should we do because we know that they will be coming in with that bill. So what should we do to make sure that you have some parity? Um, I heard that SSI was getting a, 
um, 5.9% COLA. And if yours is only 1%, it's truly a fairness issue. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that, I'll take any questions. 